The Banished Knight Armor Set. Without doubt, one of the coolest armor sets which you can get your hands on pretty early in the game. It makes you look like a real badass on the battlefield and especially the helmet blends in very nicely in combination with other chess pieces. Right here, I'm using it in combination with the Traveler set and this is a preview of it with the Depraved Armor. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get your hands on the full set including a shield and greatsword. So guys, let's get right to it. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is travel to the eastern parts of the Betweenlands to Kaelid. And in particular, you want to search for the site of grace called the Cathedral of Dragon Communion. This is a pretty quiet place, not many enemies around. What I definitely think is interesting about it is that you also have this ritual of Dragon Communion. Right here, you can sacrifice dragon hearts and get fire breathing incantations in return. I'm gonna pick up some of these bad boys myself as well because I think they're gonna be very interesting to showcase. Anyways, what we're after is the Banished Knight armor set. You could actually fight the Banished Knight roaming around these parts, pretty much around the Church of Dragon Communion, and he should be right there. So he's always patrolling around, and what I definitely suggest you to take him down pretty easily is to equip a two-handed weapon, which will make it so much easier to take him down. First, you're gonna surprise him with a heavy attack. Then you're going to hit a couple more hits and you should be able to stagger him. So it's going to be quite easy to slash him down one more time. You definitely have to be careful, by the way, about the abilities which he costs because he can hit like a truck. Sometimes even one hit killing you. We just got our hands on the Banished Knight armor set, by the way, which also looks really cool. Right now, he <laughs> look like the ultimate badass. It is a little bit heavy though, so you definitely need to get your hands on some points of endurance before you can wear the full set. Of course, you can also get your hands on the Greatsword and Shield, which definitely finish this set. The Greatsword has a pretty cool ability, which does an uppercut, deals a lot of damage to enemies. So let me show you exactly what I do to farm for this guy. To start off, I always quick travel to the Cathedral. I never use the Side of Grace to rest because you will lose a lot of time using that. And then you'll pretty much rush to this part of the cathedral and you should be able to find the Banished Knight exactly right here. Then you're gonna land one of those charged hits in the back, hit him two more times with a two-handed weapon and this should put him on the ground, allowing you to pretty much hit him with a free hit. Probably already one hit killing him if you already have some decent stats. Then you can pick up the loot, this time he dropped the Banished Knight Shields, and you're just gonna rinse and repeat this until you get your hands on the full set. So we're just gonna quick travel back to the Cathedral, then we're gonna spawn exactly right here. Then you see the Banished Knight pretty much leaving the place. What you can also do to power up your abilities is to uh, drink some flasks to deal even more damage. I also have the Flame Grant Me Strength Incantation, which can definitely help to deal a little bit more damage. Charged up attack. Hit him two more times in the back to stagger him and wow, this time with the buffs we even managed to take him down with only those swings. He usually only attacks with one, two or three swings, so it is pretty easy to dodge those. But sometimes he also attacks with a stomp and then he dashes towards you, can deal a lot of damage if you are not careful. After he did that though and pretty much failed to hit you, you can land a free charge hit on him, dealing a lot of damage, possibly taking him down, getting your hands on those sweet rewards. If you follow this farming method, I think it will take just like 15 to 20 minutes to get your hands on the full set, including the greatsword and shield, because it only takes like 30 seconds to take this guy down, travel back to the cathedral side of grace, rinse and repeat. So you'll be able to get your hands on it in no time. All right, my friends, that is everything you need to know to get the full Banished Knight armor set as quick as possible. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like. And of course, I want to wish you an awesome day. Right now, though, it is for him out. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, peace.